Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today's just gonna be a quick little video on the Helios 44 F2. So it's a 58 millimeter prime. Um, it's, an, it's old Russian glass. Um, it's all manual, so manual focus, manual aperture ring. Um, there's a, the adapter on the back, so there you go. Yeah, you need some kind of adapter to uh, be able to use it on one of your cameras. Um, but yeah, um, just a quick little first impressions on it. I'll just go through, just go through the sharpness, the build, and well, do I recommend it? So straight away, um, the sharpness, um, I'll pop some photos up now, but as you can see, it's um, it's pretty sharp. So this lens only cost me, I mean, $80 Australian and 20 bucks for the adapter, but for a, I think it's about 40 years old, for a lens that old, it's actually, it's quite sharp. It's not the sharpest lens, but it's still quite sharp. Um, but really what gives it away is the characteristics of the background. So as you can see um, in the photos I put up before, I'll put up another one now, but the swirl in the background, it's just awesome. Awesome background blur and it kind of just gives off a different kind of flair. So it's just so, for, for 100 total, it is so good. It's just so different to get a different aspect on photo and film. So very keen to use this in the future. Next up, I'll go build quality. Um, I'll just grab it again, but Let's see if you can, if it friggin' focuses, there we go. Um, it's all metal. It's, everything in here is metal, I'm pretty sure. Um, might be a little bit of plastic on there, but it's full metal, it's actually really heavy. It's probably as heavy as my um, like 35 millimeter prime. So, it's heavy, um, it's built, it was, like as I said, it's 40 years old and it's lasted this long and it's still going, so they're built amazing and yeah. I'll quickly chuck up some footage as well. So, um, would I recommend this lens? Uh, yes, I would for how cheap it is. Um, I guess this is without going anamorphic. This is the closest you can get to an anamorphic shot. Um, just the background swirl. Um, it honestly looks like you've chucked a, uh, a pro, a black mist pro filter over. I think they're called, but. Um, it's just got awesome, it's awesome characteristics, awesome flares, awesome swirl, and it's not 10 out of 10 sharp, so it's gonna look more film. So I 10 out of 10 would recommend it for anyone. So just keep in mind it is manual. It is um, a little bit tricky to use, but once you get the hang of it, um, you'll understand how to use it. So just make sure you got peaking on your, on your camera and you're good to go. Also, one other thing, guys, I really want you to meet someone, so give me a second. So this is my boy, Winston. Uh, this is why I have been pretty um, pretty MIA from YouTube for a bit, so I've been looking after this little guy. And yeah, we've just had him for a year now, so I am love him to death. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.